Mitchell. Do you have an Can now want to hear from you? We provide all our employees with basic health insurance from day one. Sup, Kirk. Happy to see you too, but how about let's not broadcast it, hmm? Right, right, sorry. No need for a scene. Okay, see that garage right there? Van's inside. You go in, grab the tech, get out, we split it 50-50. Clear? Okay, in I go. Head on a swivel, right? You got it. Is this close? Mm hmm. Cheap knockoffs, too. Had real great intel that Kirk. Like always, actually. Oh, shit. Now, firefight. One's just getting started. Have a good time. Oh, fucking fuck. Oh, look, another gunk. How oh, you like those combat implants, Choom? <laughs> Very funny. To you. The fuck is going on here? You're Choom Kirk. Did biz time to time, but see, had this funny feeling he was trying to play me. Checked out that feeling, told him I had a transport, cream implants, just sitting there for the taking. And I waited. See, the prank worked. Yep, sure did. Isn't that right, boys? I should splatter your brains on the pavement, but I'd just be wasting lead. Only a fucking gonk could run an op with Kirk. Hey, don't give me that face. You are what you fucking do. So say it. Uh -huh. Well, that's what you get for a lifetime of hustling. Nice speech. Remind me not to invite you to my funeral. How about him? Gonna tell anyone to scrape him up and put him under? No one to tell.
Interesting. What in the fuck?
vamos en la chingada. Information from Okada-san. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where will it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted end cart station? In the south of Japantown, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. And tell your sister I said hi. Of course. If I ever see her again. New job's been tough on her lately. Let's 
just finish this, okay? It's not so bad here. What have you got in stock? Iron of every caliber. Feast your eyes. What you got in stock? Nice variety? Anything worth looking at? I have... things. Okay, I really need to see this. What are you selling? Anything you can see. Get a little pick-me-up. You got Chromanticore. The hell you want the swill for, boss? Heard some batches even glow in the dark. Why drink poison when you can drink Spunky Monkey? Way better than... You freeze up a lot. One second, boss. Brad? Hey! Brad! Listen, boss, you help me out? Kids on the block been up my ass lately, and you seem real tough. Might as well, since I'm here. Lead the way. Thanks, boss. All right, Where follow me. Walking? You lost your minds? Get your grubby paws off my bike! You think we're playing around? This is a small price to pay for fucking treason. You still can't let go of that? Shana made a choice. You should be proud of her. Proud? That bitch sold out to a fucking corp! Now it's time for payback. Fuck you want! This ain't none of your biz! You another corporal rat? 
getting back a corpse by stealing from a street vendor says a lot about you. Now back the fuck away from him. Or you'll do what? I could break your jaw, fracture your skull, shoot you. The possibilities are endless. You care so much about a rat fucking traitor that you can die together. Yo, Brad, ain't that... Yo, that's the dude everyone been talking about. When they came back from the dead. You know how many gunks he's off already? And I ain't even talking solo. Shit, he following us? They lost their damn minds. Now that that's over, you okay? Who, me? Couldn't be better. All talk and no action. <laughs> Maybe they should go get a job. Fucking parasites. Anyway, stop by whenever you're around. I throw in a nice discount for you. Will do, boss. Thanks. My way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon.
units in the area. We have an urgent situation in Westbrook. Uh, Roger, dispatch. Don't they got corp security there? Ah, oh, fine. On our way. Zero. I repeat code zero in this area. All units res Zoom normal do will stay here in camp. V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm that stupid? I am starting to wonder. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? We're pissing Militech off, so they hammer us into the dirt right here. Shit! Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third-world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice. It's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. 
The exact tech you need. Coming your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel, is that enough for you? Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But... Are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I'll remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. The tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Ah, that was quick. Even if we pull it off, the stairs it is, then. I can see his face already. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. I've always been fond of trains. And 
the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? Punch cards! What cards? All blood cards, holes in rows and columns. Would you help me look? Sure thing. Not here. Not here. Not here. Nada. Nothing here. Hmm. <laughs> well, well, well. Got something. Good job. Goes nothing. It worked. Come look. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me, but... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now.
We could still Get your ass down a minute, honey. Breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Jackie. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Growing kind of cold out here. Not true, but this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course, that's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V.
Plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunger junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! An amp! So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. 
Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine work and order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. 